Roger, thanks for dropping by. Short video today. Um, I was watering my pots today. Now it's one thing having an injury, but it's another thing altogether having an injury that you didn't know you had. I got... that's cooler shadier stuff, they're on a separate watering cycle, so not today. So where do we start? Here. How do we start here? We stand up and do that, don't we? And then we got to the point where we needed to get down there. So we moved these two big plants and you have to go down on one knee effectively because this top shelf, you can't just reach in and get those plants, you've got to get in under there, which is a bit of a nuisance. And I think those plants may have to come out, come out from there depending on tomorrow. But basically I knelt down and I got a stabbing pain from just above the knee on the outside of my leg that just shot up through there over a, about eight, nine inches of my leg. Now, I don't know what the hell that was. Um, I hadn't pulled anything. I hadn't done anything silly. It was just in response to putting my weight on that knee. So something had gone wrong before then. <laughs> I don't know what. I mean, that could have just been I slept funny and hadn't noticed it yet because I hadn't done anything like going down on one knee. Anyway, as a consequence, we had to talk about it. I'm sure some of the neighbours probably heard that. But the consequences were I couldn't get up on the grounds that none of this is strong enough for me to pull my weight up on. These are not strong enough to do that sort of thing. They would fold or pull over or something like that so I then had to go down on the other knee and on my knees go into the lounge where I could get hold of something sturdy enough I thought about pulling myself up on here but um, I wasn't sure so anyway I got into where the soft carpet is uh, and then I carried on and I carried on from here <laughs> so we did that we did that we did a bit of that, and we did that, and we did this, and we stopped. Because that's cooler shady, that's not on the cycle. Um, we didn't do down there, and we didn't do all that down there. So we'll do that tomorrow. <laughs> oh, we did that, obviously, because that's a high shelf. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, a problem. But anyway, the reason for the video is some new blooms. Um, the Dendrobium canico is having a little flush again, but it's doing it in a strange manner because under <coughs> good circumstances, it blooms in clusters of or oh, probably five or six blooms, whereas at the moment it keeps putting them out in ones and twos. So uh, it's um, not being very cooperative at the moment. But, uh, well, that one's going over now. That one's been there the longest. But I suspect as this virtually stays in bloom permanently, as the season progresses, it's going to start blooming on canes that it hasn't done yet. So these, are be ca these will be canes that I've produced, because at the moment it's still blooming on the oldest ones. Um, but it keeps blooming. That's the good bit. <laughs> And then over here, I thought we'd have a quick look at the zygo spike because you can actually see the buds forming now. Um, that one's more progressed than the other one behind it. Um, and one, two, three, I'd say four, possibly five blooms on that if they all make it and don't last. So that's good. But uh, on the new bloom front, um, for the first time in a long time, we've got a telumnia in bloom. Now, I don't want to touch it, I'll tell you what it is in a minute, because, <laughs> oh, hang on, I can see the label, I don't want to touch it, if I move it, I won't be able to focus on it. It's called Tolumnia White Beauty, and this one Lynn gave to me. I'm still not quite sure why, because it was already mounted and everything, so, anyway, so that's where it came from. Um, it's the first Tolumnia I've had in bloom for some time, and, um... It's a dramatic colour changer because it's only just recently opened and all of this area was yellow. You see that pale yellow on the edge of the centre? It was that colour all over and it's already lost that colour. Um, now it's actually called White Beauty so I'd have expected quite a bit more white on it than that. <laughs> but the white has appeared from pale yellow. So, <laughs> so... Up until today, there was even less white on it, because it was yellow. But, um, you know what I'm like with handheld, I'm not sure how close I'll get. 
before it goes out of focus. I'm trying to watch it on the screen at the same time as moving the oh it's too close. But anyway, it's an attractive Tolumnia and um got another four buds definitely to come and whatever the end of the spike's gonna do, because it looks like it might extend. Not sure yet. So uh, but yeah that's the <coughs> first Tolumnia spike for some time. And it's been growing for some time as well, as they do. They start off like overnight they seem to appear two inches long. Like, well that wasn't there yesterday. And then they take ages to get to the full length before the buds and then the buds are tiny and then they gradually swell up and eventually you'll get one open, which is the sort of stage we're at now. So uh, yeah, I just thought I'd show you that one and um Hopefully we'll have more Tolumnias to come, because um, certainly two of two of the ones in the Schwerter or, or order are mature plants with ma very mature fans on them. You know, they, they should produce spikes in the not too distant future. I'm hoping that the mature fans on the Tolumnias will respond to the longer days and on some days better temperatures as well. Not today. <laughs> uh, so far today we've got up to 21. <laughs> but at least that's above where the heater kicks in. <laughs> so I'm starting to save, the, save on the bills at long last. Um, and it's low enough that I don't put the circulating fans on yet, I just rely on the little ones. So, uh, And um, the replacement new fan has arrived. I haven't even got it out of the box yet because the need to have the fans on all day has gone away. That was just a short period of really good weather that's gone now. So, so I, I'm not in such a panic, so I'll get that out of the box as and when. Um, the replacement thermostat that in the end I didn't really need has arrived, so that can stay in its box. That, that's now just classed as a spare. So, uh, yeah, and I haven't got any parcels left to open now. All my parcels have arrived. <laughs> I've gone on a spending spree next week. I like having parcels. <laughs> anyway, I shall just end on a quick look at this. This is one of the catlias that uh, we had to rescue, basically, because the, uh, the roots were in a bad way. Well, it hasn't stopped the blooms carrying on opening, so that's good. Very attractive. And then over here, see, this catlia looks in a really bad way because the blooms are right next to this leaf, which is going to fall off soon. It's an old leaf. But it's right in the middle of the plant, but this one's just starting to open. It's another orange catlia, um, but this one's got a really attractive lip. It's not open yet, it's only just started, but it's a really attractive lip on that one. Very attractive. Lovely frilly edges to it and veining. Um, yeah, so, so we've got a few catlias around at the moment. Um, lost a few buds on some, but... Uh, those that are left uh, seem to be doing okay now. I've, I've, I've got one or two that I'm still a bit iffy about, should I repot these or not, um, and the rest are fine. So, uh, so we're getting there with those. And um, yeah, that'll do. Oh, that stupid chicken thing started up again. Um, first of the resting dendrobiums um, will be in bloom in the not too distant future. Um, <laughs> I've just gone brain dead. What the hell is that? Uh, can't be primulinum because I got rid of that. I think it's a film. I can't remember. <laughs> and the next one to follow will be this beauty over here, which is Dendrobium nesta, my uh, Anosmum hybrid. And this is pushing its buds now, so uh, next time I do the Dendrobiums, um, this one's already back into the watering program, so that gets watered with the rest of the mounts and fed accordingly. And next time round, that nester will get watered. And at the rate of growth of those buds, the time after that, it'll probably get its first feed for this year. So some dendrobiums coming on. And uh, this one will be open in the not too distant future. I've forgotten what that is. That's the, that's the primary cross, isn't it? Yeah, X, X summit or other. Why can I never remember that word? Eximium, crossed with rhodostictum. <laughs> I think these should be quite attractive, actually. The fact that it's half rhodostictum, which is one of my favourite Latorias. Um, anyway, that, that's to come. Quite a few uh, buds on there. Got a set of three, two, two. 
That one was two, but one blasted. Another two over here. Oh, actually, that's three as well over there. And oh, and another set here. So some more and new growth pushing up through there. <laughs> There's another new growth started on there somewhere. I noticed this morning. So uh, yeah, some stuff going on. But um, yeah, that's uh, as I say, new bloom and the first Tolumnia for some considerable time. Tolumnia White Beauty. See you next time.